right, all right. Well, today I might have one that might be an easy fix. This mower, uh, it's an it's an older mower, uh, Murray five and a half horse, uh, Briggs and Stratton on it. And the guy said he he said he actually bought it off a guy that was down the street from me a year or two years ago. I think he said a year. And uh, test drove you know test cut with it a couple of strips and said hey, he's working fine so he bought it took it home mowed a couple of strips, went inside to get something to drink, came back out, and it never started again. And it's been sitting in his garage or shed, whatever, for for at least a year. I can't remember if it was a year or two years. So, so it might be the basic troubleshooting we're going to go through here. So let me let me show you what I got. So this is it. It's a front wheel drive. Has a Briggs and Stratton. Uh, five and a half quantum engine and he was saying um, that it just would not start after after he mowed a, a couple of couple of strips or part of his yard and uh, the only thing he was pointing out to me was the spark plug here you can see how it just it's just barely on there right so he's thinking it's not getting any spark but we're gonna test that uh, first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to take the air filter off and I'm going to spray some carb cleaner down the throat of the uh, carburetor and see if it turns over, right? Uh, if it does and we know it's it's a fuel delivery problem, could be the carburetor or hose line or something, we'll make sure all that stuff is flowing fine. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Alright, so let's take this off. Oh, it's bone dry. All right. Bone dry, so first I'm going to spray some carb cleaner in there. Let's see if it tries to crank. Now we know it does have spark, right? Even though I'm still going to go in here and uh, and fix his little tip there. I want to I'm going to squeeze together the uh, the cap so it'll be a little snugger fit. Snugger is that a word? Should I say more snug or more snugger? Anyway. Let's see. So I know it's bone dry, right? And I could either put some gas in it now and see if, you know, with the see if we can prime it and get some gas flowing in there. If not, then we know it's the, you know, the carburetor. Uh or while it's dry, I could probably just go ahead and take all this off, take the carburetor off. Because I have a feeling it's going to be needing the cleaning anyway, right? <laughs> I think I'll just, uh, uh, I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off and clean it up, put it back together, then put gas in. So I'm going to take this off. gasket looks good. Now this gasket's pretty important here. Usually when it's pressed up against this, since it does have the, the primer bulb, that gasket's very important to seal that off. Right? If it if it's not sealed off properly, then uh, when you're trying to prime it, you're, you're not going to get the vacuum that you need. And 
you're not going to be pushing gas through. So, so I'm going to take this off and pay very close attention to this gasket. I don't want it to, to tear up. It had a few drips of old nasty gas in it. Let's get the carburetor off. So let's take this off. Let's see what it looks like. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man, this thing's tight. I'll bet it's pretty clogged in there. I see a bunch of junk in there so you can see you can see that's clogged already there we go so that's it you can see the this was clogged you can see all the residue in there. So it looks like a routine carb cleaning here. And uh, and I'll bet it'll crank right up. So I'm just gonna spend a little time with my wire brush. I'm gonna clean the bowl out, clean the carburetor up, take the float valve off and just give it a good cleaning and and I'll come back when this is ready to go all right so when I'm cleaning these carburetors I like to use these little carburetor cleaner nozzle cleaners and uh, they come in very handy you need to clear out all this stuff and if you don't have one of these uh, a regular like a, a sewing needle or a pin uh, something like that would uh, where you can poke everything through but these do come in handy I use them on my carburetors and on uh, my 3D printer nozzle. <laughs> so, and I'll put a link on to that. Um, and I got a set, a, a short set and a longer set. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, usually this is a main culprit here. A lot of times it's this. Once this clogs at the bottom, there's nothing going to get through, so, yeah. Alright, it all looks pretty clean. Let's get it all back together. Alright, the carburetor is on. That's still pretty, pretty dirty there. Let's get some of the loose stuff off of it. Uh, and here I'm going to squeeze together a little clamp here. Doesn't take much. A little more. Alright, let's see if that does any better. There we go. I'm going to take a look at the spark plug. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know how old it is, but it uh, doesn't look bad at all. All right, let's give it a good crank. This one's got the little primer. Got a little primer on it? Yeah. Let me see where that is. Yeah, so it's leaking out of that too. Now the primer. This thing may not run because of all them leaks. Oh, it started. Man. It didn't smoke like that before. Usually white smoke is uh, oil. It's burning oil somewhere. Yeah. It didn't do that before. I'm going to start it again and see how much. Okay. I, I just want to get a good idea that it that it is just cased up in the, in the Yeah. Water. Now, at some point, it should start without priming it. I mean, if you were to try to start it right now, you probably wouldn't have to prime it again right now, would you? Uh, maybe set, not. Okay, yeah. If you set overnight, I can see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but even then, with these, at least one or two. Oh, every time, even though you just cut it off a minute ago. Yeah. Okay. Too much gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that you can adjust right here. Right here. It's kind of. See this little. Yes. Usually you can pull this one tight. Well, you're resetting the throttle? Yeah. 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 Usually it, um, and you want it at like 3,000 or 3,200 yeah. RPM. Yeah. But, okay. But you can go back and forth. Well, over here is going to be really, really low. Yeah. Yeah. No. But it was, yeah, that was, that was almost all the way. Let's almost all the way mean. on high RPM? Or almost, yeah. And still it was fluctuating. No, it wasn't gripping. We use all the gas already. Is there a trash can out here? Yeah, it's right behind you. Yeah. Well, this guy's is a trash can. <laughs>
right, we've got it running, so we knew it was going to be a carburetor problem. Uh, but it looks like I'll just replace the carburetor for him uh, once he's up and running. At least he can do his yard real quick and has a slight leak. You know, we'll have to rebuild the carburetor, and I was telling him, well, just I'll, I'll get you an, uh, a new carburetor. It's, it's much quicker. Um, and the cost is almost the same, right? If you get online and get a carburetor re rebuild kit, it's, you can almost just get on Amazon or eBay, whatever, and get the whole carburetor and take it off, put the other one on, you're done. But anyway, so that's it. So just the basic troubleshooting. Uh, first off, I just you know sprayed uh, uh, carb cleaner in there and made sure that it was uh, going to try to crank, which it did. So we knew it had spark. Um, we got that running, and then I cl crimped uh, on the spark plug uh, wire make sure it had a better connection and then also fooled with the, the throttle. The throttle was just wide wide open and you can tell it was running real rough uh, like it was it was flooding almost and so I backed off on it and seems to be running good so so that's it it's actually a pretty easy fix um, it's too bad the carburetor wasn't working will, will not work the way it is but that's the way it goes, man. That sucker's old in 04, I believe. So, uh, but it's fixed. He's going to be happy. So that's what counts. And so I guess that's it for this video. You know, be sure to subscribe. You know, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.